What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode of Alien Isolation, where in the previous episode we had gotten a flamethrower, and I had proclaimed that it only had one bullet. No, the flamethrower actually has several bullets. It has 525 bullets to be exact. How we refill it with more bullets, I don't really know, so I'm probably going to hold back on using it. Although, they may force me to use it as part of the storyline. In the previous episode, we had also talked to this guy over here about maybe getting his ship to come back and rescue us on its autopilot. Unfortunately, it hadn't gone like that zone. The Hairy Man magazine about hairy men. He's definitely got the body of a model. That's for sure. Let's step on over here. Is there anything in here? I haven't searched all these rooms that are like in the background or anything. And so I'm really, there's no vent above me, right? I got the distinct feeling that the game's going to start like not pulling any punches on me in the next little bit. I'm going to make myself another noise maker because we're all full up on items. And so that's good. What else do I need? Can I make another Molotov right now? Do I have the... Yeah, I have the stuff I need to make another Molotov. The Molotovs are great. Wait, I thought that that had... A oh, well, there it is. Two ethanol. Okay. So we've got some Molotovs now. And what the Molotovs are going to be useful for is I don't think... I think the episode that I lost, the lost episode, where it crashed mid-recording and just like lost my save and everything else. Pretty sure that was the episode I used the Molotov in. And so I'll try and use it again. What is that? Is that a jar full of motor oil? Like, what? why do you have this? Also, how many desks do you have? He has sat down and used, like, six desks now. He's like, they're all mine. I am the general. Anyway, let's have a look at our map and figure out what it wants us to do now. It wants us to go to the Lorenz Sistec Spire. Haven't we already been there? Hmm, we may have run out of new zones. We may be backtracking. All right, well, I've got the distinct feeling something terrible is going to happen in here. So... Oh, there's an access terminal, and it's reasonably safe. Maybe we'll get to... Ooh, let's read something. Let's read! Make with the... Let's make with the literacy. Let's do that. The first trap is gone. Wait, we're a trap down. The creature set off explosives we set in the habitation tower, and I'm hearing reports of damage to the space flight terminal docks. I don't think we put a dent in it. There's activity in San Cristobal, so maybe it's gone back. Find a way over to the SciMed Tower Transit. Hope to God the sensors and medical reception are still online. No, I want to keep reading. I don't want to go back out with the monster. Don't make me... Please? I'd really appreciate it if you wouldn't make me. Alright, arrest sheets. Let's see. Henry Marlowe. Indefinite incarceration for crime number blank blank blank. Tanaka. Crime number 342. Drunk and disorderly. Okay. I don't really care about people's criminality. I was hoping there would be more background information on the alien. Unfortunately, the extraterrestrial appears to be mostly unknown at this point, which makes sense given where we are in the storyline. Oh, I've got so many Molotovs and I'm so happy about it. So the Molotov basically buys you like five seconds. Like, it really doesn't do a whole lot. The time that I used it, it, se it made the alien go away for sure, but only for like maybe a count of like 15 Mississippi. And then it was back and it was angrier than ever. Like seriously, it was really, really angry with me. And so I figure it's probably like a good holdout weapon if you get like cornered or something just to get rid of the alien for a minute so that you can sprint down a hallway and just vacate the premises but definitely not something that you can rely on I don't think wait I can place a Molotov oh that's awesome I didn't know that I could place it like a mine oh that's the greatest okay I might do that in the future then it has one of those twisty things on the top of it what the hell is that thing called you know, I've put, like, loads of those things onto various machinery throughout the course of my life, but I never, like, a thumb screw, maybe? I don't even know what that thing's called. It's one of those little screw things with a thumb tab thingamadoober on the top of it. Or it's like a butterfly screw or something. I don't know. It's probably got a name, like, named after a bird or something. I don't know. Things are always named after birds. All right. Ripley, you on your way? Yeah. Ricardo's moving in ahead of you. I've sent your guy Samuels to Android Processing. Once this thing's dead, I'm gonna get him to access Apollo and lift the lockdown. Samuel's okay doing that? Guy said he wanted to help and I have my hands full here. Besides, he's a synthetic. Should be easier for him to get in there. I guess. Look, Ripley, we're the only people standing between Sebastopol and outright disaster. Outright disaster has already happened, Waits. All we can do now is kill that fucker. That was exactly my response. I was like, I don't know if you've looked around lately, but people are like drawing with blood on the walls. There's all, disaster is already here, my friend. Maybe it's because you've been hanging out inside the police station the entire time, but the general feeling that I'm getting right now is that disaster already done happened, and now we're like in the aftermath period. Ethanol, yay! And more scrap. I used up as much, I probably shouldn't run right now, should I? I should probably never run ever in this game, although the game definitely seems to have safe points, like areas that you cannot be attacked from. So, 
I don't know. I think we're inside one right now. I don't see any vents up above my head or anything. So let's go back out on a mission. Let's do awesome stuff and complete quests and perhaps also make a task go away off of our list. Let's see here. Okay, we gotta go down and then we'll hang a righty and then we'll be good. Is there a vent in here? Can the alien show up on this map? Oh yeah, it looks like it can. I don't see any like bleepings and bloopings though. Maybe it's because we can come back here later. Well, I'm hearing bumping noises, but I think that's just like, I don't know. Maybe they have a violent air conditioner or something. An air conditioner that simply does not know how to use its words instead of its hands. I have no idea. I'm going to save right here, though, because every time I don't save, I regret it. Let's also swap out our flashlight batteries right now. So that's done. And then the other thing I'd like to do is let's pop a med kit. And so there it is. We'll make a med kit real fast. And then we will also pop one on ourselves because our health is actually looking a little bit sub-satisfactory. And so there it is. It's no longer sub-satisfactory. Is this where I want to go? Is this the one? Yes, this is the one. Push the button. Also, I'm going to try and see if there's... Just in case. Just in case. I mean, that does look like an access point right there. So just in case the alien shows up, I'm going to stand way the hell away. It's weird how paranoid you get after you play this game for a while. Like, seriously, I am really, really paranoid when I play this game. Oh, there's a vent down here, too. I hate this so much. Hell does that mean? I don't have time for paperwork. We've got aliens running around. That would be the culmination of the game's terror. They make you sit in a DMV waiting for a receptionist to take your paperwork while the alien's plodding around. But for some reason, it's not, like, interested in the DMV people at all. Like, they're all synthetics or something. That would make sense, given the way that DMV seems to work. If you don't know what... Do they have... I doubt that... They probably call it something different in, like, Europe and Australia. DMV is Department of Motor Vehicles. It's the place you go to sit in giant-ass lines while people ignore you and be stinky all around you on these really, really uncomfortable plastic seats. It's like any other government government agency. It's it just kind of sits there. And nothing gets done. Enjoy your eight hours of forced bureaucracy. <laughs> Every single time you have to go, like, oh, you want to renew your license? Well, guess what? Sit in this horribly uncomfortable plastic chair for several hours. All right, we're going out blasting with the DACA. That would suck, by the way. Uh. I wonder if it can hear us arrive. Let me look and see what our objective is on this floor. Let's see here. Lock down all escape routes en route to the server farm before sealing the creature inside. Wait, what? <laughs> I think it's here. Getting inside a closet. I think it's here. It seemed like it was really, really close to me for a second. Although now it no longer seems like it's gonna... Why is it that every time I climb out of a vent, this thing decides to show up? So what am I doing right now? Yeah, I need you to like flag something over here because I have no idea where I'm going. So we need to get to the server hub. Great. Hubba hubba, off we go. Let's roll. Hopefully the alien decides to give us a little bit of space and nothing terrible happens to us. Can I actually flush it in like a different direction? Like can I, if I can put it over there, like with some noises or something, that would give me time to sprint across the other side. Let me save my game first. We'll deal with it in just a moment. I hate the feeling of using like all the various terminals in this game when at any moment the alien could like attack you. Like for example, doing the rewire panel over here. All right, so let's access this rewire and let's see if we can send it off the other way maybe. So, we have an unstable system, which is inactive. 
in the speaker system. Where does that go? No, that's the speaker system on the side I need to go to. I totally don't want to do that. That would be the worst idea. That would be hard mode. And do I look like I prefer hard mode to you? I do not. I do not prefer hard mode. I am a giant. I am a giant sloppy weenie. This thing had better not get out of the vent behind me while I'm doing this. No, you go away. There we go. And so I turned the speaker system on over there, I think. And so now, we're going to leave and not participate in any alien shenanigans ever again. Hopefully it goes and, like, looks around. Caution! Where is this thing? Also, it looks like there's a freebie vent right here. I thought I had a plasma torch. Or do I have an ion torch? I don't know. I have something. There's a passcode required over there. I need to make best use of my time. I realize that I'm dithering and I'm like dragging my feet and not going anywhere. Alright. I don't see any movement or anything. Can I get inside that? No. Got a vent on the right hand side. But that doesn't appear to take me. Well, it might. Where was... Have we already been in here? I think we've already been in here. This is going to be that big room. Yeah, I know where we are now. Okay. So we've got a couple of patrollers. I'm not necessarily too convinced that the AI is not bugged in my game. Like, they really actually seem to be very, very bugged in my game. They don't ever bother me about... What did you do? Let me get a little bit lower. Oh, he's totally looking at us. Oh, please tell me it's not going to come out behind me. It's definitely coming out of somewhere. And I'm not going to be here when it happens. Nope. Alien can handle those guys. Actually, that might not be a terrible idea. Let me... Where is something I can use to make this happen? I don't know if that's going to work. If it did, though, I totally want to watch my handiwork. That guy's hiding. Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay. All right. All right. Let's not be here anymore. How does that sound? Now that it totally just annihilated those two dudes. I mean, that was the plan. I was going to use the noisemaker to kill the humans, but... It... It came out near the door, and that's scary. Although I will point out that I just called it to a location I need to go. And so... Um, it's moving around really, really fast. I don't like this. Oh, we're about to get caught. Yep. Oh, 
Okay, so I got the Molotov. What the hell just happened? Oh my god. That like almost blew my heart out of my chest. Whoa. Um, you're on fire. No. You're on fire, and I'm panicking. Oh, why are you attacking me right now? You're supposed to assist me. Eh? What? Are you? No! Oh, this is not going well. I'm on fire. I have blisters. I have general contusions and bumps, and androids are attacking me even though the place is on fire. You're supposed to be my friend, Working Joe. You're supposed to be my friend. Fire suppression system down to the south. Is that supposed to happen? Oh, my God. Well, on the plus side, I guess we can assume that the alien's probably not going to bother us while the building's burning down. It does definitely seem to have some kind of... It doesn't appear to like fire very much. Is this the fire suppression system? How does the alien feel about water? Hopefully it's like the alien in Signs. I'm just going to hang out down here for a minute. I need to catch my breath. I'm feeling very, very flustered at the moment. And I don't like feeling flustered. Feeling flustered leaves me feeling very, very surrounded. And so, rather than feeling as though there are people all around looking at me... No, it's totally up in the vents right now. That sounded like it was right over my head. I can't think of too many worse things than, like, a fire on a space station. Like, among all the things that could go wrong on a space station, that definitely seems to be pretty high up on the list. I can't decide if that's just the game messing with me. Or what's going on. Like, it sounds like it's up in the vents right now, but I'm not rog I'm not registering any, like, movement or anything. And that leads me to believe that maybe the AI is just, like, messing with Wait, me. what's wrong with this station? It's always been falling apart, but because of the decommission, a lot of the systems have been shut down. Add to the fact that everyone's too busy trying to stay alive to maintain anything, and you end up with goddamn chaos. Not just chaos. Goddamn chaos. So much worse. So much worse. Thought I heard footsteps for a second, but no. No footsteps. I will take your compound B. If you have any compound A, I'll take that too, but you look like you have bigger problems, so I'm going to let you rest it off. I think you need to take a little nappy night-night, maybe. Feel better. I apologize that I killed you both by using an alien against you. I didn't mean to. Okay, I kind of did mean to. It was the plan. So I think we have to go to the right, maybe? Although, what is it flagging up over here? Is it here? Alright. I don't know if that's an android, or a synthetic, or if that's the alien kind of tooling around trying to figure out where he wants to be right now. Fire more than likely threw him off a little bit. That guy looks like he got drilled in his forehead, which is great. Forehead drilling, not an activity that is endorsed by the nerd castle. At least not in life. You can do it all you want. Although that was one of my favorite weapons ever. As you remember in Turok? In Turok 2, there was the cerebral bore. You could throw it at people and it drill into their brain. Excavate all their brain matter. The creatures here. You need to move. There's nowhere to go. The mods at the Marshall Bureau is the safest place. Okay, okay. Thanks.
I don't even know what just happened, but apparently I'm in the business of like warning people to run the hell away now. Just in case. Because it's definitely up inside our pipes right now. And I like my pipes to be unclogged by alien refuse. Detritus, if you will. Okay, so I gotta restore power to get that going. Okay, we should be okay for now. I think this is where... That doesn't look like it's gonna go back where I think it goes. Oh, there's hack boxes. Oh. Or wait, is that what those are? Well, let me make sure. Rewire systems. Wait, the creature. How are we gonna seal it in? The Spire was built to process high-value compounds dredged up from the gas giant. Piracy precautions are still in place. The tower can be shut off, vents, doors, everything. So, you build a cage around the creature, then Ricardo locks it down. I don't know if that's gonna work. In case you might have noticed, there, in case you didn't notice, there's a lot of doors around here that really... Don't you get out of that vent. Yeah, I was... I was gonna say, it's real close right now. I just need to not be near it. Like, deep down inside. I feel like it's following me right now. But it hasn't gotten down out of the vents yet, so I'm not... I could use a rewire around here to fix this, but... Did that lady leave already? Shit. I really hope that it didn't hear that. Every now and again, when it's super close up on me, I get worried that taking out the beeper is going to give me a... Yikes. This goes to the kitchen. Why would I want to be in the kitchen? Does the kitchen go around this? Device invalid, so i got to upgrade it to level 3 before that'll work. What I need to do is I probably need to jump onto the panel and rewire the door. In case you're wondering if I don't know what I'm doing or not, I do know what I should be doing, but... It's moving around so much that until it goes away... I don't feel comfortable opening up a panel. That thing is right up in my business right now. Yeah, it's on top of us right now. I'm just going to hang tight for a second until it goes away. I just heard footsteps, though. God, this is so tense. Somebody ate all their Pringles in one sitting. I have that problem, too. I have that problem, too. Cans of Pringles don't seem to last long around me. They seem to go bye-bye very, very quickly. I can't tell if it's following me or not, but what I need to do is let's go find a save point real fast because I want to get stuck over here without being able to save. I don't know if there's a save point around here somewhere, but I would love to use one maybe. I think there's one around here somewhere, if I remember right. It's like downstairs, maybe? I don't think that thing can get down into the stairwell right here. I think this is actually like a free zone where you're okay. Entrance is dead ahead. Use the terminal and reception to open the door. 
Oh, apparently I found my way here on accident. I guess I don't need to rewire any doors. All right, whatever. That works for me. Time to save the game and then hide. All right, there we go. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Alien Isolation. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and hi-do as always. God, this game.